Welcome to GV247.TV, the Global Vision Channel. A non-profit web TV channel bringing biblical perspective to the world in which you live. Hello and welcome to GV247.TV, the Global Vision Channel. My name is Deborah Menelos and just like last week, my husband Stuart's busy in the studio working on a new documentary we're making. And... As I said last week, we're going to be doing something different over the next few, few weeks because many of you no longer are able to go to traditional church because of wrong teaching or you're experiencing what the Bible refers to as apostasy. One of the most prevalent signs of the times eschatologically with a great falling away from biblical truth. Now this has meant that much of the Church of Jesus Christ, sometimes known as the remnant, that's Bible-believing Christians who don't want to compromise what the Bible teaches, has gone full circle and reverted back to what it was originally, the ecclesia in Greek, the called out ones who meet together in houses to study the Bible, worship and have good fellowship, which is more easily facilitated because house church contains smaller groups. Last week, we interviewed James Jarvie, and this week I've got with me, and I'm absolutely thrilled, I have Maria, who is James's wife. And as I mentioned last week, she is heavily pregnant. She was due yesterday. Um, and in there we have little Rachel Abigail waiting to be born. In fact, I'm her birth partner as well. So <laughs> we're kind of hoping that we'll get to the end of this programme without anything. Maria, you're very precious and we're just absolutely thrilled to have you now. How do you feel about being here in the studio? Quite nervous. <laughs> Quite nervous. Now, Maria calls me Mama Debs. I'll just mention that um, because that's the position that she's given me. Um, it's, a, it's, it's very much a cultural thing as well, but yes. it's a privilege and an honour for me. So, Maria, how did it all begin? What kind of home were you brought up in? Did you have any religious teaching? or? Yes, I do have. Um, I was brought up in a Roman Catholic background, so I um, um, attended the um, uh, Roman Catholic school. Mm -hmm. So we were taught uh, how to how to uh, pray the Rosary, saints, all these um, rituals mm -hmm. that we have to attend the Mass mm -hmm. in order for you to attain to 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 get the salvation. So in Philippines, it's quite. Uh, um, that's the, that's our religion, mostly Catholicism. Mm -hmm. So, how did your life turn out? I mean, so you you were a good Catholic girl. So, what happened? <laughs> yes. Um, so everything changed when um, when my dad passed away. Mm -hmm. So I thought that just praying every day, praying the Rosary and and going for novenas, you know, uh, we do have like perpetual help where you you have to pray to Virgin Mary, but we were never thought thought about um, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So when my dad passed away, I felt that my whole my whole world crashed. Mm -hmm. It's because, and then I blame the and I br blame God mm -hmm. because because of that. It's like why. Why you have to take my dad? I'm praying a lot. I'm praying the rosary, like five mysteries in a day. And why you you took him from me? And then I stopped believing in God at that point when I was in Singapore. And I started to, to rebel and enjoy my life. And, you know, God doesn't exist because I do pray the rosary. And, but, but what happened to, to my loved one, you know? So... And then, um, <clears throat> so, and then I moved to Dubai, and I I worked there for seven years, and um, what a great uh, testimony is, is is that my brother Carlo, um, he's been married to a, a Christian uh, uh, wife, which she's introducing me to Christianity, mm -hmm. and and then at that time. Um, there's a lot of um, Catholic churches in Dubai, and but I didn't know the difference between Christianity and Catholicism. I thought it's the same. It's just 
a structure of church and a different um, like priest and pastor it's like mm -hmm. just the terminologies you know and um yeah and then i i met um i met the american uh, my um, christian uh, american friend and uh she she asked me to why don't you come to uh, to my church and i thought it's 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 the it's the same as what catholics uh, used to attend every sundays and then she asked me to to come uh, with her on um fr on fridays because the service for christian churches in dubai is every fridays or saturdays because dubai is a muslim country yes mm -hmm. and um and then when i attended um the 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 the, the speaker is the pastor is from america and and um he emphasizes the, the the word jesus christ which made which is i just cried because mm -hmm. i didn't know the difference between god and jesus and the holy spirit so it's just it's, it's just an introduction mm -hmm. of christianity mm -hmm. and not to mention before before that I'm an alcoholic and I just and because of what happened to my past mm -hmm. I just enjoyed drinking and going out and um, having fun with my friends and you know living the best life mm -hmm. so I, I used to to quote this um, you only live once mm -hmm. we call it YOLO mm -hmm. which is part of my past and um, she encouraged me to attend the conference, and then I just uh, I just signed up for this conference in Dubai, and and I weep a mm. lot because mm. it's about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then I just wake up one day, and I told myself that I want to give my life to the Lord. Mm -hmm which is my savior. Yes. And I told you, you need a hand. <laughs> a tissue. You don't have a tissue. But that, that meeting with Jesus radically transformed your life. Yes. It? And yes. It's, a, it's, it's a great impact because I used to have my, we call it party or social friends. Mm. And they saw the transformation that I never, I just declined their invitation to go for for birthday parties or for drinking and it was like what's wrong with you are you who who made you change why why you just stop um, meeting us and i started to serve to to our christian church which is every friday so instead of of going out and getting drunk on thursday nights i sleep mm -hmm. early in order for me to serve at at our uh, existing church in Dubai, mm -hmm. every Fridays, mm -hmm. yes. Now you're highly educated. What, do you have a degree? And what? Tell us a bit about that. Oh, um, I uh, finished my degree in industrial engineering mm -hmm. in Philippines, and then moved to do to Singapore and then to Dubai. Mm -hmm. So you're working a fairly high-powered job. You're busy. You had the party life. You met Jesus Christ, and your life is changing. It's changed, All right. Yes. What about um, the church you went to? Was there any focus on discipleship, or actually, that's 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 very interesting because when they introduced me to Christianity, I thought it's just loving Jesus. Mm -hmm. I thought it's just going and serving our church, our community, we call it like a connection central where you meet and greet people and like an usher. Mm -hmm. Like I do serve and set up uh, the small kiosk mm -hmm. and meet and greet the new attendees. I thought it's just like that. I thought it's like just love, mm -hmm. love, you, love and introduce uh, them to church. And it's not deeper than I thought. Mm -hmm. So really almost a club, a club yes. for good people, as it were. Like, yeah. like, like there's no Bible teaching. We do have like, we call it equip, 
equip your equip um, equip the classes mm-hmm. where you go through with the uh, Gospel of Luke or Mark or Matthew, but it's not deeper than that. Mm-hmm. And I used to to attend conferences. Now, were there other things you were still doing at that time? What about yoga, for example, or any anything else? Exactly, because no one th- thought about yoga, attending Halloween parties, or 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 like uh, if you're going to a worship, uh, a, a praise and worship conferences, like in London. I attended this a huge. Um, it's a huge church actually mm-hmm. in London where. I just Is that the Hillsong one. Yes, mm-hmm. where I attended and and I thought it's just like that. Like mm-hmm. once you praise and worship and it's like it's like a party, a huge party, but mm-hmm. partying with Jesus. They call it partying with Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's like a different type of mm-hmm. of having fun, mm-hmm. but you're praising Jesus. Mm-hmm. So no nobody thought about this. So, so nobody taught you yeah. the dangers of yeah. yoga or any of that. Nobody. So how did your life change, Maria, after the first major change, where at least you're, you've been introduced to Jesus? What happened after that? Yes, it's, it's, it's interesting because when, when I visited Scotland, um, I met James. Mm-hmm. And he actually asked me about my faith and what does our church in Dubai, you know, teach, teaches. Mm-hmm. And, and then... I'm like confident to tell him that we do serve and we do have conferences and and then I don't know the the conversation went to into um, having yoga mm-hmm. and doing such yoga thing mm-hmm. and and he says like but why do you do yoga don't you know that you know like he 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 went deeper about mm-hmm. about yoga and. Mm-hmm. And um, Hinduism, mm. and then I was like, "Who is this man, like teaching me?" You know, like deep inside, it, it's not my intention to, to it's 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 not meditating. It's just my doing position, like mm-hmm. uh, um, like part of my fitness, and then, and then it's really interesting because he gave me um, a disc. A DVD. A mm. DVD of um, mm. Lamplight mm-hmm. and Daniel Project. So, and then I went back to Dubai. And then and then James was in touch with me. And he asked me if I went through to, to this uh, disc and to this DVD. And I was like, no, because I think it's, it, it's not the right time yet. Mm-hmm. So I didn't push myself to, to, to see the DVD. And then after a couple of months, I discovered the Lamplight the project. project. Mm-hmm. And it talks about yoga, how you connected to a different mm-hmm. dimension mm-hmm. or, you know, deeper mm-hmm. about that. And then I was like, wow. And it's amazing because... No, nobody teaches this in in mm-hmm. my church. Mm-hmm. Everything is okay. I think you were watching the sound the alarm DVDs, and as then well. also the sound yes. alarm, mm-hmm. and and everything is like, wow, why I didn't know about this? Why we only know about just loving, just love, mm-hmm. caring, and community. Live your best life. That's it. Mm-hmm. But nothing like deeper mm-hmm. and it's interesting because James said that as well that he wanted to go deeper but he wasn't being encouraged to do that at yeah. his church so um, it seems to be though that when the Lord has his people who do desire to go deeper he will open the door so what happened with you and James because he lives in Scotland he works offshore for three weeks and um, did he keep com- in communication with yes, you? Yes mm-hmm. we're in touch we're in a uh um uh, in touch with uh what's up mm-hmm. and then when i visited again uh scotland last um, last year i met 
you all, <laughs> which is made such a huge impact in my life mm -hmm. because I never, never met such a genuine people like you all were. I can just trust, mm -hmm. and and it's the same with what happened to my brother. Mm -hmm. Like when he attended the wedding, he didn't know about all this eating meat mm -hmm. compared the to blood. The, the blood, blood yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So, and that he needs to stand firm and to be the head and the priest of the family. He didn't know all about this till, till he met you, you and the church mm -hmm. during our wedding. So. so you mentioned the wedding and I think this is a good opportunity. <laughs> uh, Stuart married you both. It was a wonderful, wonderful day. So um, God was answering Jarvis, James's prayers and bringing a lovely wife who loved the Lord. That was always got to be the first thing. And you suddenly find yourself with a Scottish husband. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a wee look at the wedding. So, you're a beautiful bride, um, very exotic, and, and that was in a, a huge old uh, church in Scotland, and it was a wonderful day. And, and as Maria was saying, her brother Carlo came over for the wedding, and he's a lovely, lovely guy. Carlo, Stuart and I send our love to you and Juvie and Brent, um, because Carlo had an enormous impact being amongst a small church like ours of Bible believing Christians. Now, we take no credit for that. That was the Holy Spirit moving. But he was so touched because he hadn't seen the love of God in action before. And um, I believe it's really transformed his life and the life of his family. So we give God all the glory for that. So you and Jarvie uh, come to our little house church. So there'll be a big difference. There's a big difference between us and Hillsong, where you've got thousands of people in one room. Um, we praise God differently, for example. So what's been the biggest changes that you have seen coming to a small house church? The, the huge difference is that um, now I'm more disciplined to go through with my Bible, mm -hmm. to study. Mm -hmm. And the one and one one to one mm -hmm. teaching, yeah, like you as my teacher, as my elder, that we we have a time together and to go through and to study the scripture, mm -hmm. because in Dubai, no, we don't have that. We we have discipleship, but you're not being trained. Mm -hmm. So we just call out to disciple and just to say, oh, I'm going to disciple you, but how can you disciple? If you don't know the word, mm -hmm. so when when you actually ask me on or when 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 I met James when he asked me about the Bible, I didn't know anything. I was embarrassed. I was um, I surrendered my life to the Lord in two thousand and fifteen, and I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. I feel like 
Oh my, my goodness. Uh, how is that possible? Mm-hmm. And I've learned that it's because of the mega church. It's about just welcoming people to come just you know to enjoy rather than going through the scripture and going through the bible and studying together and and having a discussion about the 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 lord's word so do you not find that boring compared to the big hyper church no actually i I'm, i'm really blessed and grateful that the lord led me here in scotland because I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not even pl- planning to return to my, to my old church, and I want, and I want that my friends to to know the difference between mega church and a small church where you can be united, you know, as a family, as a family in Christ, That's where it. you can can join together, have a meal. It's not about posting on social media what you do and what what's going on with our church you know mm-hmm. it's really a, u- a, a a huge difference and my brother my brother is a witness of that mm-hmm. it's not about it's not about how how many people how many attendees you have if you have more than a hundred then it's it's the the right church mm-hmm. it's not about that it's yeah. about the 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 quality mm-hmm. of of the, the the study that you you both um, um, go through, yeah. And what about having a small church family? So, we're we're talking to each person about our church weekend away. This year, we were focusing. Our title was faith and obedience, where, um, as I said before, each person. It's, it's very much prayer and preparation so that you ask the Lord to lead you and uh, give you a word to share, for example. And then we ask couples to set a challenge for the rest of us. So we have lots of fun and wonderful worship times together. And we're all learning from one another. So how did you find that? I find it amazing, especially with you, Mama Debs, having a discipleship one-to-one with you. Like you taught me how to, to hear the Lord's voice, like to, to spend time prayer with Him alone. Mm-hmm. And I've learned that uh, when we had a weekend away to really pray and ask Him for a word where I can able to encourage our brothers and sister in Christ and mm-hmm. and I and I hope that I did. <laughs> you, did. you certainly did. We we were very blessed by what you brought. So do you have any words of advice for anybody watching who's maybe been in your situation, perhaps uh, in Roman Catholicism where they maybe haven't come to know Jesus or if they're in a mega church where they are not being fully discipled, is there any advice? Um, the advice that I can give to them is to not just to say yes to every pastor sermon. You, you have to, 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 to go through your Bible and check mm-hmm. if what he's saying is, is correct. And you should check if this church is doing a proper discipleship course course Mm -hmm. because because in Dubai I mean Mm. from my previous church we have these terminologies but we we really never go through with deeper in his words so Mm -hmm. so it's better for them to 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 really check and um, you know the the point Maria was making earlier is she's um She'd been saved two years before she really uh, came to us and came to know us. And she said she was embarrassed that she knew so little of her Bible. Um, So if that is you, you know, drop us a note. Let us encourage you. Take a look at some of the programmes. We've got 24 channels, 24 different subjects that you can find out um, all about the Bible and what it says. But it is about coming together as a family, isn't it? So you've got Mama Debs and Papa Stu, 
and we have baby Rachel Abigail who we're waiting <laughs> to be born we, if you're good folks we'll maybe show you a photograph or two of that so thank you very much Maria thank you for so your much. time yes. you are you a, so you're a precious me. precious member of our little church family we I'm love you so much I'm happy to be here <laughs> oh, we're happy to have you darling we love you so much so folks thanks very much for watching um, we'll be back with uh, we're going to have Johnny coming up soon you've met Johnny in an earlier program as well so that'll be something to look forward to so again a wonderful testimony to the Lord's work in the lives of his people with Maria there um, again just a wee reminder every Monday Lamplight Fellowship study meeting um, and they're still on uh, the study on the subject of the Lord Jesus Christ so until next week we we'll look forward to seeing you don't forget your GV 24 7 cards please do hand them out to people. We are hearing wonderful stories of people who have either come to know the Lord or come to know him in a much deeper way because they've been watching some of the channels here for which we take absolutely no glory. Um, our sole aim is to point you towards the Lord, to point you towards his word and build up the church. That's what we're about here. So thank you once again. Keep in touch. God bless until next week. Bye bye. This is GV247.TV, bringing biblical perspective to the world in which you live. A powerful free resource with hundreds of short films on a wide range of Bible topics from experts around the world, plus full-length sermons and programs for teaching and encouragement. Choose from current affairs, signs of the times, a chance to voice your own opinion and special offers on our full-length feature films, documentaries and study materials. At over four hours in length, The Lamplight Project is a systematic 12-part Bible study series, a powerful teaching tool that begins with the origins of life and takes the viewer on a comprehensive journey packed with high-profile interviews, film, graphics and illustrations, concluding with the return of Christ and an encouragement to stand firm and be faithful. Complete with a free study guide download for both personal and group study, this powerful interactive guide connects to over a thousand programs with expert interviews on GV247.TV, our free service web TV channel. Does My Life Have Meaning? A powerful one-hour presentation produced from the Lamplight Project. With a free copy of the Gospel of Luke, this film is crammed with engaging interviews, film and graphics. A life-challenging film to those searching for answers. As distributors for the Jesus film, we offer this timeless movie based on Luke's Gospel. This clear presentation of the life of Jesus Christ has been viewed worldwide and translated into over 1,200 languages we provide the film with a free copy of the Gospel of Luke. The Daniel Project is a popular TV documentary that presents an overview of Bible prophecy and an encouragement to read the signs of the times. Hailed as one of the best TV films to be made on the subject, DVD extras feature a heart-to-heart -heart interview about the way of rescue. Based loosely on the documentary, The Daniel Connection is a full-length feature film. This fictional thriller incorporates many of the themes promoted through pop culture and social media which affect people on a global scale. Launched at the Cannes Film Festival, The Daniel Connection points the ever-skeptical viewer to search the Bible for answers to life's deepest questions. We've been serving the body of Christ for over 30 years, and if you would like further information, Please do not hesitate to get in touch.